First off, thanks for all the support. The channel is growing quickly. I've gotten a request to create a video tutorial on how to back up your Ponagachi as the instructions on the official site are unclear. But the three most important questions I ask myself before beginning an endeavor are, why do I want to do this? Do I really want to do this? And is there a better way? And I think there's a better way. Why not just create a complete image of the micro SD card complete with the RSA keys, current configuration, and WPA crackable material? After all, the most likely use case is that the micro SD card becomes corrupt. Alternately, we lose the hardware and replace it with the same make and model of hardware. In either event, an image is the best solution. I can't think of a good reason for not imaging, but if you can, please provide it in the comments and I'll consider revisiting my reasoning. To create an image, we use Win32 Disk Imager. Disk Imager is not intuitive. First, plug the micro SD card from your Ponagachi into the computer and select its drive letter as the device. Then you create an image file by essentially specifying the path and the image name you've chosen, hit enter, and only then will the read option become available. Then click read. You can write the image to a micro SD using Disk Imager or Bellina in the same way you installed the Ponagachi OS. Writing this image to a micro SD will essentially allow you to reincarnate your virtual pet. I've tested it and it works. Always test your images because mileage invariably varies. It was Zhuang Ji who said that the Ponagachi exists because of the WPA crackable material. Once you have the WPA crackable material, you can forget the Ponagachi. The only thing that we might not be able to recover is the WPA crackable material, and given that any backup may itself be corrupted or lost, it's a good idea to back up the WPA stuffs manually in the interest of redundancy. Additionally, this process is also right, the first step away. to cracking WPA material, so we're likely going to be doing it at some point anyway. Here's how. First, we have to enable Open SSH Server on Windows, search and open Apps and Features, and then click on Optional Features. Then click on Add a Feature and select Open SSH Server by any means necessary. Then search and open Services. Scroll to Open SSH Server and start the service. Remember, Open SSH Server is disabled by default for security reasons, so the second best practice is to start the service manually. Now let's create a folder on the desktop and name it PCAP. Right click and select properties and then sharing and then share. My username is already highlighted so I click share. Now we can putty in. sudo bash change directory to root. Now we're going to secure copy using the following command which you can find in the description. If we were to ip config using our Windows CLI, we would see that the IP associated with the Ethernet over USB interface is 10.0.0.1, and so that's why we're using that IP. And that's it. We have an image of our Ponagachi and backups of our PCAP files. Save them in a safe space. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.